feels unbelievably good to know what we achieved last year. And we were lucky enough at our two district events, we were the number one seed and managed to win the whole thing. And, and it's not like things went perfect. We had some catastrophic events in our first first district we went to, but you know, quite frankly, failure teaches you a lot more than success. Probably the favorite part of Worlds is competing on the field. Watching the kids go out there and bring the robot to life. Hopefully they don't learn any hard lessons. Hopefully they just learn good things. We have high hopes for what's gonna happen over the next three days. But this is first, anything can happen and usually does. I mean, this is 400 of the best teams on the east side of the country. They've all been through multiple events. They've all tuned on the robots. Everybody's learned lessons you don't know when you go to your first districts. The level of competition is just a lot higher. Your alliance partners are gonna be a lot stronger. And when you think about your alliances, you have to strategically approach that very differently. Well, when you look at the qualification round, it's about ranking points. Whatever it takes, get your ranking points. If you're not going to win, make sure you get the, the switch ranking point and the claim ranking point. We always are telling the kids, no bad matches. If you can't win, at least come out with two points. So in the qualification matches, it's about ranking points. We know if we execute, catch a couple of breaks, we're probably going to be there. Now, when you reach the highest levels, there are no absolutes. Everything has to fall in your favor, but we think we have the team and the robot to at least be there and, and hold our heads high about being there. Woo!